Welcome back everybody to Stoffer Garage. Today we're deep cleaning this F350 King Ranch Edition. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe down below. Turn on those notifications so you don't miss out on any new videos on this channel. And I also wanna mention that on Fox Clean, my own detailing brand website, if you guys need products, pick them up. This week I'm randomly slipping in $100 bills into five packages and I'll be posting those stories on Instagram onto what packages will be receiving that $100 bill just as a way to give back to you guys for supporting Fox Clean. But let's go ahead and get into this detail and first things first obviously as typical Stoffer Garage fashion pull out everything from the car including the front seats so that way we can see all of this nastiness as you guys see here that we find underneath them. So with the seats removed, we get a clear idea of how much dirt is in this thing, and I found out that this truck has never been vacuumed on the inside once since it was bought by the owner who owns a farm. Um, one of the nice things about Ohio is there's plenty of farm trucks because a lot of the farmers buy these newer trucks, use them for a couple years because they get tax exemption, um, and this one in particular is no, is definitely a prime example of that. It's uh, it's definitely dirty. It's definitely been used like it should be, which is awesome. I always I always like detailing trucks and cars that get used and this one in particular has been used for its purpose which is on a farm and despite it being a nicer truck a king ranch edition that doesn't bother me and i don't think anybody should be you know upset for that i would always rather have a nicer vehicle if i could afford it to work in than a cheaper one you know it, it, it's one of those things that if you can afford it why not right
Now with all the vacuuming done, I'm gonna work on these floor mats and surprisingly the driver's side, the, the rubber floor mat they must have had must have got completely destroyed because the driver's side was the only one that used the carpeted floor mat as the main floor mat. Um, so this one needed a couple doses of uh, pressure washing, extraction, uh, drill brushing, and then pressure washing again to get as much dirt out of it as possible. And I would say after even doing all of that, as you guys will see in the before and after shots at the end of this little clip, it still had a little bit of dirt in it. Um, I could have worked on this thing for hours and I think I would have never got all of it out because of all the fine dust that comes from the cornfields. Now because the majority of the truck had the carpeted floor mats down and the plastic floor mat, rubber floor mats down, there wasn't a whole lot of extraction that needed to be done because it did protect the floor quite a bit. So the only areas were around these door sills that needed majority of the extraction where there's a lot caked on, actually this side, passenger side, had a lot of mud that was caked in around those plastic panels. So when I took that kick plate off, it gave me plenty of access to make sure I removed all of that dirt and grime that had built up there and then just extracted those segments in the main floor area to get all of those carpets looking like new again. All right, so if you guys are like me and power outages is a concern, especially if you have kids in the home, your family and everything, or if you're on a job site and there's no power available to you. Like there's many times where I've been detailing and I'm in a parking lot at somebody's office or business, power is not capable to get to me. And when I have an electric pressure washer, my extractors, all of my battery packs, electricity is critical. So for me, the Anchor Solix F3800 power system is crucial. 
to making sure that I can continue working, making money, and moving on. But it's also critical to make sure my house always has power, whether there's a storm, the grid goes down, everything hits the fan, I have power and it's silent because there's no gas generator running outside. So nobody knows I have electricity. Now this power system requires somebody that needs to be trained as an electrician, have electrical knowledge, or you just hire an electrician that can knock this out in about an hour. But you have this power panel system that mounts to your wall. It connects into your actual breaker box in your house and the electrician can take care of that for you. And what it will do is you can have it set up where if the power goes out, it'll automatically switch on to the power bank and run your essential items like air conditioning, refrigerator, washer and dryer. It has the capacity to run all of those items for you. And not only that, you can hook up a ton of solar panels to it so you can actually backflow all that power into the grid. It's a complete total system in my opinion and you don't have to worry about the gas generator in the backyard making all this noise, and say the grid goes down and everything goes kinda wonky in the world, you're silent, which is cute. Now for all you EV folks out there, let me tell you this. Say your battery dies, your grid's down or whatever, and you need to charge your EV, you can hook up this bad boy to it because it has a port on the outside for 220 volts, which makes me think like welders and cool stuff like that can also be connected. You have the capability to charge your electric vehicle from dead to give it enough output to go 20 kilometers. So there's an app for this thing as well, so you can hook up directly into the power system through the app, managing consumption, seeing what options, seeing what power usage is being done, so that way you can make sure this thing is always running optimally at all times. Now with the EV class level of batteries in this thing and over 3000 cycle life from zero to 100%, it is actually designed to last 10 years of everyday use. Now if you're hooked up to the grid, the best part is with this much output in this thing, it only takes 1.5 hours to charge it to full capacity. All right, so as a detailer, this is like the ultimate test. We're gonna be running the air compressor, the vacuum, the steam cleaner, and the extractor all at the same time to see if this thing can handle it. Turn on the power. Power's turned on. Oh, compressor's running. Let's throw on a steam cleaner. Let's throw on the vacuum. but all of them are running at once. And turn them all off. So say you're just a detailer or you work on a construction site or you just need power on site, whether it's an RV or whatnot. I gotta say that this is impressive as heck. This thing is by far a huge win. So not only is this system awesome, but I want you guys to check out the link down below in the description box so you can go share your story with Anchor of a power out of the experience you've had. And by sharing your story, you get entered in to win the same exact system that I'm showing on here for free. You'll have that opportunity to win, so make sure you go share your story over there. And also use my coupon code, I have it linked down below, and it's a mouthful, let me share. It is F3840HPPEP, right here on screen. It'll save you 35% off on the exact same system and an expansion battery, and that offer is valid until July 7th. So take advantage of that now, and thanks Anchor for sponsoring today's video. Now with anybody that has these side sills that have these metal inserts in them, this goes for pretty much any car on the market. If you actually unclip those, they just pop out. The metal piece in the side usually just has tabs that you can remove as well, because sometimes you can get rocks and stuff that get stuck in between the plastic and those trim pieces, and you can never really get them out because they get wedged in there. You can remove those to get those completely clean as I'm showing here, so that way you guys can detail your car and make it look perfect.
Now the entire dashboard is covered in dust obviously, but the steering wheel has grease and grime caked on it as typical. Um, yeah, so that's where I spent a lot of the time, especially on this dashboard. But for anyone wondering what products I use, I have them all listed in the description boxes below, um, especially these plush microfiber towels, which are stellar for getting into all those nooks and crannies, especially whatever the brush can get into. These plush microfiber towels allow you to wipe across those surfaces and because the fibers are so thick um, and plush, they can actually get into those, making it a lot easier to make sure you soak up all of that dirt and all-purpose cleaner. Now in the past I've done a King Ranch and it's probably been a couple years since I've done one but if you guys remember back in the day when I did a King Ranch, I'm always, I love these seats in particular. I love the color combinations, I love the stitching and whenever you clean these things with leather cleaner and then put the conditioner on they come out looking insane. I'm, I'm just, if I was to buy a truck I would love to have these seats in it as well just because one they last a long time, the leather's always been really good and forward in terms of uh, durability standpoint. Um, but yeah, these seats are just spectacular. I'm, I'm in love with them, to be honest.
Now before I tackle the rear bench seats in this truck, uh, I'm going to tackle all these tabs. And these are all the tabs that cover the bolts that bolt down the seats. And then also the cup holder um, and the center console that were covered in dirt and grime. I just kind of put those on my workbench. I like to pull them out of the car because that way you can make sure you get every little area of them on the front and the back. And then also in those areas where um, dirt can kind of get collected if you didn't pull them out before. So always like to clean those on the bench using just all purpose cleaner and my detailing brushes. Uh, to get those completely cleaned and ready to put back in. Now while I condition these rear leather seats, I just want to mention one thing that if YouTube didn't have a policy where I couldn't use regular music, I would, if, if that makes sense. The one thing about YouTube is if you make YouTube videos, you can't use like just generally popular music. So I have to use the music that I have in here. A lot of people ask where I get it from. Um, if you're interested, it's epidemicsound.com. It's like a subscription service that a lot of YouTubers use. Um, there's a lot of different sites that do it. They just have a good range of music that I've always liked. Um, that you pay a monthly service fee to use and that way you can use that music in your videos um, but ideally I would love to use popular just trending music or anything that everybody likes but I have to pick from a certain selection of music so that way I don't get copyright issues but um, if you're wondering and you're always asking those questions um, that's where I get all my music from. So one question that I get a lot is why don't I do customer reactions anymore? And the main thing that comes into play there is I've had some really, really big videos that have done over 40 million views. And when I get those customer reactions, as nice as they are to have, because it feels good for me to see the customer reaction, for you guys to kind of share and, and see that, um, 
but there's a lot of nasty people that can kind of say some really mean things in the comments toward them, and I think that's just one of the reasons why I don't feel it's I don't feel comfortable doing it anymore because I don't want them to watch the video, maybe look at the comments, and then just get completely blasted by people they don't know, especially if they don't do YouTube and they're not used to any of those negative comments that people give. So that is the main reason why I don't do customer reactions anymore, especially because of the fact that they're generous enough to let me borrow their car for a couple days to film these videos. So if you guys are wondering where those reactions have gone to, that is the main reason why I don't do them anymore. Um, I'd love to do them for you, but that's just kind of how the world works these days. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe down below. Make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and leave those comments as well, and I will see you guys next week.